Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I have the brand new 2024 Leisure Unity 24RL. Here is an overview of the layout and the specifications. So let's get started. There's a step for the passenger. Storage compartment right here. Another storage compartment on the side of the entrance door. A couple of 110 outlets right beside this outdoor work table. Big awning on top with LED lights. A couple of opening windows back here. Large storage area with a shelf. Moving to the rear, backup camera above. Tow hitch below with a seven pin connection and take a look at the clearance. Moving over to the driver's side, a couple of opening windows on top here. And opening this door, you have a whole bunch of stuff going on in here. So here's your sewer connection, propane fill. You've got your Sani flush, your gray and black dump valves, satellite hookup, cable TV hookup, macerator switch, propane shutoff switch, and your water, water pump switch. Moving on over, there's your fresh water connection, your outdoor shower area. Opening window on top there. 30 amp shore power right here. Storage area below with the sewer hose storage right on the side. Generator storage right there. A couple of opening windows on top. Step for the driver. Let's open that up and access the diesel input. All right, let's move to the front. Take a look. All right, time to check out the inside of this wonderful RV. So opening up that door, you can see there's a power step. Has this built-in screen door with reinforced area in case you have pets, don't want them getting out. Lighted grab handle on the side and let's step on in. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start in the cockpit area. I do have to duck my head to enter, but there's no step. And seats are really comfortable. Love the ultra fabric armrests. There's even an extension. We've got long legs. So the seats are power seats. They're also heated. Take a look at the steering wheel. There's some controls on the left and right hand side. Take a look at the dash. Now, right on top of the dash in front of the driver, there's a couple of drink holders and a little space for some storage. Moving to the center, there's a wireless phone charging pad, a couple of USB ports, and a 12 volt. Moving below, there's a large infotainment center, some more drink holders right below. 
below that there's a 12 volt and a USB port. Now moving over to the passenger side, there's another space right in front of the, the passenger where you can store some items, a couple of drink holders. Below that, there's a ledge for additional storage. Now above both the driver and passenger heads, there's a little bit of shelf space for additional storage. All right, time to check out the rest of this RV. All right, right above the cockpit area, there's some storage. So opening up this cabinet door, you can take a look inside. Nice and deep storage in there. To the left, there's a cubby that goes back pretty deep and another cubby on the right. Main controller right below that. Moving to the passenger side, I'm gonna open up this cabinet. Some more storage in there. Window right below screen you can pull down and hold in place and a privacy screen you can also pull down moving over to the main entrance privacy screen pulls right down let's open up this cabinet above and take a look and here's the solar charge controller the eq systems controller the xantrex controller the truma aqua Go controller and right below that is the battery heat switch. On the side of the door there are a couple of hooks so you can hang your jacket, sweater, whatever you need to as you enter. Right below that there are some light switches. You can see there's a lighted grab handle. Moving below there's a master on off switch and right below that is the fire extinguisher being stored right there. On the other side there's a cubby for some shoes. And right in front, there's an extra cubby for additional storage. There's some passenger seating right behind the cockpit area, seatbelt on each side. And this also makes a bed, so let me show you. So I'm gonna remove these two backrests Set them aside. I'm gonna pull up this cushion and this part right here just goes right on over, not heavy. I'm gonna put this cushion right back in its place. Head over to the other side. I'm gonna push this cushion aside. And now this side here flips on over this side. Now this is going to stay somewhat like that. Now I'm going to grab this big cushion, which is stored in the rear area of the RV. Put that right there in the center. And now just fill in the back area with these cushions. And there's the bed. Let's give it a try. pretty long area so if you're tall it'll probably work for you works great for me all right so I'm going to put it all back to seating areas I'm going to remove these cushions pick up this center cushion which again is going to be stored back in the rear of the RV move this one on over Flip that side back over. Put that cushion back in its place. Flip this on over. Did it with one hand. Put this cushion back in its place. And now just grab the backrests. Now it's back to two seating areas. Now I'm going to show you how the seating area becomes a dining area. The cockpit area has this nice privacy curtain that you can just install with some snaps right around. Covers all the window, giving you much needed privacy when needed. 
Now, the driver and passenger seats do swivel around and you can install this Lagoon tabletop right here and now four people can dine or just hang out. Now this is also good for a workstation right over here if you need it because right here there are two 110 outlets and a couple of USB ports. Now right above me there's this large skylight that opens right up. There's a bug screen that you can pull across and a sunscreen that you can also pull right across. There's ducted AC throughout this RV. There's a power air vent right above this kitchen area. And right below, there's a good sized TV with a sound bar on top, which you can easily view while seated in the front seating area. Now let's check out the kitchen. So I'm gonna start with these upper cabinets. Now in that first cabinet, there's some storage and on the right, there's some cable inputs, a couple of HDMI's and below that there are a couple of 110 outlets. They shut very nicely. Take a look at that storage area, nice and deep and the one on the side of it. storage ledge right above that TV I just showed you. Now let's take a look at the window. Opens up awning style. Has that screen right in it. There's this screen and that privacy screen. So take a look at the countertop space decent amount but let me show you this unlocks like that and now you have additional countertop space good amount so let's check out the cooktop two burner propane cooktop take a look at the sink nice and big and round. Now the cover has this little cutout so you can actually run the water in there without taking out the whole cover. Now you have that extra countertop space when needed. So right above here there are two 110 outlets, paper towel holder right below, and a little shelf here perfect for your spices. Moving below, let's check out those drawers so that top drawer has a space for your silverware. Big drawer right below and these are all soft clothes. Another big drawer right below that one. A couple of hooks here for your kitchen towels. Along the side opening up that cabinet there's your trash bin. Now right on the side here, there's a pull-out pantry, nice and big. And there's a lock on it for when you're on the go. Right above that, there's some light switches. Now right across here, there's a convection microwave. Take a look. Below is the refrigerator. So there's three levels of storage, three bins that you can use, three bins in the door that are adjustable. Let's take a look at the freezer. Nice and big, has this divider in there. All right, so now let's check out the bathroom. Now there's not a wet bath in this RV, the shower is separated from the toilet area. So let's start with door number one. Take a look. All right, so I'm gonna step in and show you around. So right above the toilet, which is elevated, there's a storage cabinet. On the side of the toilet, there are a couple of 110 outlets along with the toilet controls for filling it with water and flushing it. You can see that there's a little bit of countertop space around the sink. 
show you the storage area below the sink window right above now to cover that window and give you some privacy this mirror just flips right over after you unlatch it and there's a magnet that keeps it in place there's a mirror on the other side that you can use little ledge below for your toothbrush toothpaste little cup in place right there little hook for your towel towel ring right here got a little bit of ledge right above some storage area on the side with the toilet paper holder you've got some switches over here so your bath ceiling light water pump switch right here in the bathroom and your fan switches for your power fan right above all right so that does it for this side let's check out the shower All right, so let's check out the shower. Now I want to point out that this door goes right in place, giving you all the privacy you need back here to use the bathroom and even for the rear area. So take a look at the shower. So there's a good sized mirror right there on that shower door. I'm going to step in and check it out. So it's not huge, but it is a good amount of space. I'm 5'4", I have some more head clearance, nice curved skylight above. There's this rod that you can pull on down. Now you can hang wet items when needed. Let's take a look at the shower head. It's a nice big size and has that switch to start and stop the water flow. A little bit of ledge space here to set some products down light right in here that you can easily push on and off when you need to hook right here grab handle on the side now check out this retractable shower door has that built-in squeegee all right that does it for the shower okay so right on the side of that shower is the wardrobe there's a hanging rod up there and this is also where the lagoon table is stored. Now moving below, let's take a look at all these drawers. So that's the first one, nice and long and deep, soft close, middle one, and the bottom one. Okay, so now we're in the rear of the coach and let's check out all this upper cabinet storage. So there's the first one, there's a shelf in there. One right beside it. Now we're at the back of the coach. And there are those. All right, let's check out the windows. So right over here on the passenger side, the windows open up right here on the bottom. They open up awning style, has that screen in it has that additional screen right here and a shade you can pull down for privacy. Now on the side here, there's a control panel for some lights, a couple of USB ports and two 110 outlets. There's this lagoon style table that you can set into place back here. You can use it for dining. Of course, you can use it for a workstation with those plugins right over there. Moving to the driver's side, there are a couple of windows over here. This one on top opens up here on the side, has that screen in it. This side over here serves as an emergency exit. Has that screen that you can easily pull down as well as that privacy shade. Now the window below is covered using a window covering that you snap into place. Right on the side here, there's a couple of USB ports and a couple of 110 outlets. Little cabinet right there on the side. Right on top is where the cushion is stored for that front area that you can make into a bed. Now right across, there's 
a TV with a soundbar below, and four little cubbies right below that. Now let's check out this comfortable rear seating area. So there's a controller that you can use to extend the legs and get really comfortable. And you can do that for these two. Okay, and when you're done, just put it right on back. Now I'm going to show you how this rear seating area becomes your bedroom. So I'm going to start by removing these backrests and setting them aside. Next, I'm going to pull up on this padded area until it locks into place. Now I'm going to pull on this strap and bring it on down. Nice and easy. And there's the bed. Let's give it a try. Good amount of space for two people. There's a little cubby back there. You can set down your water bottle, your glasses, and if you happen to be sleeping on this side, you can get out of bed this way without disturbing your partner. Just walk along this little ledge and make your way to the bathroom if needed. So now I'm going to put this back up. So I'm going to pull again on that latch and push it up. Clicked into place. So now I'm going to put this padded part back down. It's going to push up on that, lock it into place. And now I'm going to grab those backrests and put them back in their place. Now you have your seating area again. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2024 Leisure Unity 24RL. So I love that there are two separated sleeping areas. This rear area, you can just leave the bed down and made because you still do have that living area up front. Love that the shower is separated from the toilet so you have two separate doors and you can still close that shower door leaving this whole area back here nice and private big kitchen up front and of course plenty of storage all through the RV inside and out. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos. Bye for now.